We're talking about Germany, Ollie. We're talking about Infineon reporting that lower than expected revenue. You, of course, have covered the protest stuff as well. We may or may not come back to that. Square all of this for us. What stood out to you from the Infineon story? Well, what's really interesting, Kriti, is that actually at the heart of the semiconductor story and the chip story is actually the industrial story. And that we've seen played out across ST Micro, um, Texas Instruments, and today um, in Infineon. So basically, it was a disappointment in terms of the revenue that came for the quarter, a disappointment in terms of the guidance. We should also say that this is the first quarter of revenue decline since the pandemic for Infineon. I think the main line that analysts were focused on is that margin miss for the expectation in the next quarter coming in at 18% versus 23.1%. That's all very material. Material. But again, back to the chip story, what we're seeing is a slowdown, not in AI chips, not in the super sophisticated high demand stuff, but for, for industrial applications. And that is a slowdown, slowdown we've seen across the industry. We see the same thing yep. in Infineon. However, the part of that is supposed to offset that for Infineon is the automotive sector, where actually they see that demand is still staying resilient. Does that stay, though, is the big question. This is a, this is a really cyclical sector, Ollie. It always has been, probably always will be. So where are we in the cycle? Is this the bottom? Because you want to buy, in, in some ways, if you want to buy these stocks, you want to buy them at the bottom before the cycle before the cycles turns. So when does that pickup come? Yeah, that's an interesting question, Guy. Unfortunately, if you want to buy the bottom, you probably have missed it because I was looking at the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index, and despite the fact that we've seen, you know, kind of a bottom for the chips, it's close to its all-time high, right? So what we got last night was actually the sort of um, the Industry Association for Semiconductors putting out their outlook um, for this year. First of all, we should say that last year, semiconductor sales fell 8.2%, but they do expect a bounce back this year of up 13% to a record year for semiconductors. But they keep saying, Guy, uh, in the back half, and when I hear in the back half, I've been waiting for a recovery in China in the back half for two years now. Germany, the economy is supposed to recover in the back half of the year. I think that's a bit of a euphemism for we're not too sure what the outlook looks like. And I also think that for Infineon specifically, have we begun to really price in the question about this slowdown in EV sales? Remember, there are many, many, many more yeah. chips in EVs than there are in ICEs. With that transition going maybe a little bit more slowly, a little less voluminously, could we see that in the bottom line for Infineon longer term?